Hello everyone. Thank you for joining this month's Connect with Control M session. My name is Deborah and I'm a technical support analyst for the Control M team at BMC. Today we'll be discussing the Control M deployment tool. Joining us today are our panelists Pilar Soria and Owen Sanchez. During this presentation, we recommend going to full screen mode by pressing the full screen button. And please note that this presentation is available via the files pod at the bottom of your screen. For any questions you may have during the presentation, please post them in the Q&A pod and we will address your questions at the end of this session. And our agenda for today will be an overview of the deployment tool, a brief look at the architecture. We'll then show a couple of demos for deploying application pack and managed file transfer. We'll also run through some resources you can use for future reference, and then we'll have our Q&A session. So the Control M deployment tool allows you to simplify installation and maintenance of Control M modules. It's located in the configuration manager and it allows you to deploy with minimal downtime, reducing the need for scheduled maintenance periods. You can use the tool to deploy the application pack, which is included with the Control M Enterprise Manager server installation. This application pack includes modules like the application integrator, Hadoop, Informatica, and so on. And the package is automatically placed in the CM underscore deploy folder on your Control M Enterprise Manager server. Manage file transfer is another module that can be deployed with the tool. This is actually a separate module that you would download from EPD. The package itself is also placed under CM underscore deploy. I'll just do a quick recap about the CM deploy uh, folder uh, where the MFT and the application pack modules are automatically stored. So on Linux, we have the CTM EM directory and the CM deploy sits under there. And under Windows, we have it under the default CM deploy of your Control M EM installation. It's pretty easy to find. You can use File Explorer or a find command, um, but it's pretty standard uh, place for it to be. This is where all your packages are put. Um, you can see here that they're for different platforms, Windows, AIX, Linux, Solaris, um, and also the same for the Linux installation. It's basically exactly the same um, uh, principle. The packages are extracted there. You shouldn't really need to ever go into this directory. It's all automated for you when you um, update the application pack and, or MFT at the EM level, um, but it's just for your information in case it's useful to know. So the deployment tool starts in the configuration manager which then communicates with the Control M Enterprise Manager server. And the Control M Enterprise Manager server then contacts the Control M server and transfers the package. Once the package transfer has completed, the Control M server then transfers the package to the Control M agent or agents and then runs an installation. Let's now show you a demonstration of how to deploy managed file transfer using the deployment tool. OK, so we're going to demonstrate deployment of managed file transfer. Uh, we're in our CCM. This is the agent we're going to uh, install managed file transfer on. Uh, to get to the deployment tool, go to Manage, Deployment, click on New Activity, select Manage File Transfer, and then you want the Upgrade slash Install option. Give the activity a name. Description and email notification address are purely optional. Uh, again, there's two options here. Send MFT to Control M Agents. That's just to transfer the package. Or you can send and install MFT to Control M Agents. I'm going to choose the second option for this demonstration. OK, so next we want to make sure that we deploy to the right agent. This is the only one eligible for this version. So we will deploy to this agent. Click install. And you'll see a new activity appear. Checking the prerequisites. So as we can see here, the package is currently being transferred from the Control M server to the Control M agent. OK, so we see now that uh, the package is now completed transferring. 
and it will now proceed to the next stage, which is the installation. And now we see it's completed successfully. So if we go back to our agent, we see that it's uh, gone unavailable while it restarts the um, processes. If we click on home and refresh. We can now check on the Control M server if the modules have been updated using the CTM Get CM utility. We can see that the install has completed and when we run the command on the command Control M server, we see that we now have file transfer and it's at 92100. If we return back to the CCM, we should see it refresh in here. And we now see that we have Managed File Transfer installed and it's 92100. We will now show you a demonstration of how to deploy the application pack. OK, so here we have our configuration manager. This is the agent that we're going to deploy to today. To get to the deployment tool, click on Manage and click on Deployment. And then we want to create a new activity. And you can create activities for deploying agents, manage file transfer and application pack. For this demonstration, we'll do the application pack. Click on upgrade and install, give it a name. Description and email notification are of course uh, not mandatory. And there's two options underneath. You can either send the application pack to Control M agent uh, only, or you can send and install the application pack to the Control M agent in one hit. But today, I'm going to do the second option. So now we need to choose the version that we want to upgrade to. And for this, it's 92200. We then see the agents that are eligible for the uh, upgrade. I'm just going to do uh, the AG3 agent. And then we're going to click install. You can then click on refresh and you should see a new activity has been created. And you'll see that it's now currently running and it's checking the prerequisites, the control M agent. And here we can see that the uh, transfer has now completed and it's now doing the installation. And now we see that the application pack deployment has now completed successfully. If we now go back to the main agent, we see that the version is still the previous one. So we can now go to our control M server and you'll see the previous command I ran uh, was to the previous version, and we should now see it updated to the new one, which is 9020200. And you can now see that the modules in the application pack, like application integrator, databases, Hadoop, and such like, are now at version 9020200. I'm going to show you a troubleshooting scenario now. Let's try and deploy the application pack to this agent and see what happens. Go to manage, click on deployment, new activity, application pack, upgrade and install. Give the activity a name. Description and email notification address are optional going to click on send and install application pack to control M agents. Click next and we're going to select the version that we want to upgrade to and we're going to select the agent and we're going to click install. And we see a new activity. And 
and we see that there's a failed status and it's due to insufficient disk space. Let's look at our agent. We see here that the space is almost 100%. For this scenario, I did create some large files and we can go in and now delete them. And now we have 4.7 gig free. That should be enough. Let's see. You can now click on retry. You don't need to recreate the activity again. Uh, you can retry and the agent uh, deployment will try and start from where it uh, failed. We can see here that it's starting to do the transfer. And we now see that the control element application pack has installed successfully. It's worth noting that you can also look in the log uh, of any activity uh, in case you have a, an issue or you just want to look at what's running. Um, so you see here we had the application pack completed successfully, but we had the failure previously. And it's all in the same log. Um, it's, it's one log per activity. So provided you um, resume the same activity, um, it should um, have it all in the same log. So here we see uh, what we did, uh, what we, we saw earlier, um, the uh, disk space issue. And then uh, later on, we then um, hit the retry and it then carried on after we had cleared down the space to make sure there was enough space for the deployment. And then we see all of the um, steps, uh, the preparation, uh, the transfer um, and all that sort of thing. So you can have a closer look at that. Um, if you need to. Um, it's also worth also if you're raising a case with BMC to actually send us this log. Um, this may actually be a good starting point for us to investigate any issues that you're reporting. Okay, um, And we just click on close. And that's it. So in summary, we've gone through an overview of the deployment tool, brief overview of the architecture, and we've demonstrated how to do the deployment of both application pack and manage file transfer. And here are some resources which you may find useful. Thank you for attending this presentation. We hope the information provided is useful in helping you understand the deployment tool. We'd like to encourage you to provide your feedback in the feedback tab. Please let us know what your thought about the presentation, any topics you may want covered in the future, or any comments and suggestions you may have. Also, we will be sending you a survey in the coming days and would appreciate it if you could spend a few minutes of your time to fill in your responses and send these in. You can also follow us on social media platforms such as Facebook and Twitter. Past BMC sessions may be viewed on the BMC Control M channel on YouTube, and we will post this session in a couple of days. We will now proceed with Q&A.